Davy, I managed to cut through the wire fencing. Now I can get into the property. It's over to you now. OK, I'll try and keep him occupied a while. Go through the living room window and get a move on. Here's the living room. OK, have to stay quiet. You owe me a lot of money, Mr Blacklock, but you haven't fulfilled your part of the bargain, my dear Davy. I've done everything you asked me to. It's not my fault if your plans didn't work. The terms of our agreement are simple. Get rid of that little Beaumont girl for me and you'll get your money. I don't see what more I can do. I've tried everything. If you don't pay me, I'll go and see the police. It's not a good idea to threaten a man like me. Oh dear, things are getting heated. Davy won't be able to keep him busy for very long. I must act quickly. What's this piece of paper? It looks like a code. R R G B G Y Wow, he's got enough books. Quick, I must hurry. I've only got a few minutes to find some proof. These buttons must serve some purpose. Let's try pressing them in the order indicated. A secret room! Now, if that's a tourist complex, I'll eat my hat. I can't carry off this model, though. I must find something else. What about these files? Kengro? Hey! But that's the chemical fertilizer that poisoned Peter Ellis's dog. was a close call. He can't hear me anymore now, but I mustn't hang around in the garden. Davy, I'm outside. Perfect. I've just left the villa and Blacklock was heading for the living room. I'll meet up with you in the village.
This fertilizer factory scheme is a total disaster for the village. The chimneys and the stench will chase off all the villagers. Then Blacklock would be able to buy up all the land for a song. What shall we do? We must show this in the village. You can start with Molly Catchpole. She has a lot of influence. You were right, Mr. Burgess. It was a chemical factory that Blacklock wanted to build. Well played. By tabling a censure motion against his project, the inhabitants of Appleton will be able to evict him. You little rat! You told the villagers a pack of lies about me and now they no longer want my project. But you'll pay heavily for this, believe me. If you want my opinion, we've got rid of that black lock for the next 150 years. Thanks to you, Blacklock's plans have all been scuppered. You now have the local support you need to go on extending the stud farm. The villagers even insisted on offering you a horse. But come round to the office for the new procedures. Harry, look what I stole. I mean found. At Vincent Blacklock's place. He wants to build a chemical factory. Well, well, well. Now that we know the truth, I bet he won't hang around the neighborhood long that one. I know who poisoned your dog. Look at these plans. He's not gonna get away with this. I'll warn all my eco-freak friends. I'll set my dog on him. He's also got a few scores to settle with Blacklock. Mrs. Catchpole, look what I found at Vincent Blacklock's place. He lied to you. My God, a chemical factory? How dreadful. You've saved us. I don't know how to thank you enough. All that remains for you to do is to organize a competition on your own land. To do this, you need two show jumping courses, two cross country courses, and two dressage courses. Naturally, it's essential to have a vet on the spot and a second stable to house the competitors. The stud farm should also be renovated so that it's looking its best. How do I go about getting everything I don't have? You just have to redo the competitions you've already won. But the competition will be more difficult. Patricia was right to trust you.
Oh no, I can't register. I have to find a better saddle. I'd better go and see Harry. <laughs>